Hey guys, what's up? Bisectatron here from Clash of Clans Manual, here with my fourth sneak peek video for the new update. And in this video, we're talking about the second spell that's been released called the Earthquake Spell. So once again, another dark spell that takes up one sp spot in your uh, spell factory, unlike the two taken up by normal spells. But this one is a little bit different, and it's basically another version of the Lightning Spell that only damages buildings. So... You have the poison spell that just came out that damages defensive troops, uh, like CC troops, and then also the heroes, the defensive heroes. Um, and now you have the earthquake spell, which doesn't damage troops, it damages buildings. And an interesting thing about it is it takes a percentage from the building. So no matter how many hit points the building has, it'll take about, I think, 10 to 15 percent uh, hit points away from the building. So it'll obviously do more damage uh, just hit point wise to a town hall than a builder's hut. So it's kind of interesting. I'm not sure exactly how it's going to be used, but we'll take a look at a few of these screenshots. Um, so looking at this first one, we have a builder's hut, and that's basically a spell radius right there. Uh, so it's you know about the same as a poison spell and a jump spell, all kind of a smaller radius spell. And um, there it is on the town hall, same thing. But something interesting to think about is that at Town Hall 11, you have a 11 spell capacity. So you can bring 11 of these uh, Earthquake spells. And if each Earthquake spell does like only 10%, let's say, I think it's 10 to 15%, but being low, 10%, uh, if you bring you know 10 or 11 of them and drop them all in the Town Hall, that'll take out the Town Hall. So maybe at a top level, you can just, just bring uh, Earthquake spells and take out the Town Hall, and then, I don't know, Barch for the 15% or the 50%. So it might be kind of interesting to see how they use it, because I think uh, if you bring all uh, Earthquake spells at the max level, that is enough to take out a single building. But uh, obviously, you're not going to be bringing it for pretty much any other use. Um, it can't, one of them won't be able to take out a building on its own, because like I said, it does a percentage damage. It's not just hit points, it's by percentage of a, a building. So, it honestly seems kind of useless to me, uh, unless it's for, you know, for taking out a town hall at town hall 10, which could be a potential use for it. But it's kind of interesting how Supercell is trying to make the lightning spell not as powerful. Um, I think people will still be using uh, probably lightning spells to take out air defenses on like dragon attacks at town hall 7. Uh, I don't know, maybe they will, maybe they won't. It depends if you can do it uh, for less spell capacity, bringing earthquake spells. I'm not sure how that'll work out, like at what levels and stuff. But I guess it could potentially replace lightning spell if it's powerful enough, but I don't think it will be. Personally, I think it'll probably just stick with the lightning spell for taking out those air defenses. So a little bit of disappointment on these uh, new dark spells. Uh, the poison spell and the earthquake spell are both kind of replacing the lightning spell. They're not really bringing anything new to the game. So I'm hoping that we'll have some more cool spells coming out and more sneak peeks and also new cool features outside the dark spell factory. But I think we do have a number, or a few more spells. They might not even be leaked. We might just see them right when the update comes out. But I think there's going to be a few more spells that you can brew uh, and also more features coming out. So crossing my fingers for that, hopefully some new stuff gets added to the war aspect of the game, but uh, and we're going to have to wait and see. Uh, until then, uh, it's all about speculations. But uh, I, you know, actually, I forgot to add one thing. Sorry about that. Uh, a new feature they're adding is both the Earthquake spell and the Lightning spell, which are used to damage buildings, can't hurt storages. So if you drop them on storages, it's not going to do any damage. Uh, you can't take out you know, Dark Elixir storages, get like a thousand Dark Elixir anymore by dropping Lightning spells. So some people are really thrilled about that. Personally, I'm kind of unhappy because it does happen to me sometimes, but that's probably how I get about half my Dark Elixir on my second account is just by dropping lightning spells on the Dark Elixir storages. So for those of you trolls out there that do that, including myself, I uh, can't do it anymore. Both the Earthquake spell and the Lightning spell don't damage storages anymore. So to keep that in mind, uh, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later by Sectatron out.